Hello, everyone. This is one continuous video based on the previous topic connecting a Siemens i7-1200 or 1500 controller to a SQL database. And in the previous video, I showed how can we implement the insert, into, update, and select following this version 20, this example program. And keep in mind, this example program that come from November 20, 2020. And comparing with the previous version, version 11, this version 20 released from this November, it added update and select, which is awesome. Because update and select, they all commonly use the command talking with the SQL. So we can use the PLC talking with the SQL. We can send the data, create a line in the SQL, and we can sort the data from the SQL using this command. And from the previous video, I showed the insert into update and the select. And in this video, I will especially talk deeply about this select. That's because if you use this example program and test that select, it works. However, if you set up the new table in the SQL and use this select, for example, sort couple integer data from five columns, so you will find that select doesn't work in this example program. That key problem come from the metadata from the example program. So the metadata, the lens we need to adjust. And to figure out this, we need to use the Wireshark. In the menu from this example, the menu is used one page to explain this. And in this video, I will specially show this, how can we use the Wireshark and check out what the lens we can use. Okay. Let's turn to the TI portal side. Let's talk about the detail. Let's talk some details on this select command. So we will use this command. This where, that is a condition. So we will sort the fruit name first. And the value feedback, the returns, we will return this amount. Okay, so in our case, we will sort the cherry and return the amount number, integer number. So we will copy this command, paste here. Let's select the amount from the database, the table from the table name underscore two. This condition, we will use the fruit equal to our cherry, that name, let's change to cherry. Okay, so, and this command index that is three. So we prepare three here and let's send it first. Okay, prepare this. So this amount number will be returned. So where the value will be returned, that will be returned to this uh, token rows here. And according to this menu, by this existing example to sort column from the fruit rows, to sort the amount by using the fruit name. So that amount number will be returned right here. And now we are sorting the cherry amount. So I will send the trigger and watch carefully about here and send trigger, boom, it returns three. Three, that is the amount number. And because we only have a one cherry line, so it returns three. So that cherry, the amount three will be returned. And next we can do this test. So we still use the PLC data, that three integer table. And when I try this select, want to store the one integer data from my database table, the table has a three columns, three columns integer data. But when I test that, my test got failed. And then I review this menu. I review this menu and check out and especially from the page 16 and the explanation here. And then the key information is showing here. This token column metadata, and especially this lens 24. This is very important. So firstly, let me show, let me use the Wireshark do the same job and let's verify if this uh, lens is a 24 because that 24 lens must match with this lens setting in this data type, case special data. Let's open it. Here, this token column metadata, this 0 to 23, that lens is 24 bytes. 
So this lens must match with your actual case. And the actual case actually based on the select our command. If we use this command, number three, this command, because we are sorting the apple, the return, the mount, based on this select telegram, its length is 24. That's why the system by default, that example come from with 24. And to verify this, so let's use the Wireshark. So I installed the Wireshark at this uh, SQL database laptop, this virtual machine. Okay, so this is my network. So it has a data now. So once we double click, so that means the Wireshark is recording. Okay, now let's go back and now I will use this command three select and sort the cherry, the fruit. Okay, so it returns three here. Let's go back to the SQL side. Okay, firstly, let's stop this capturing. And to sort the data, let's use this uh, TDS. We will sort the protocol. And let's find out the source from the SKL response to the PLC. So SKL is 100. So is this. So the reason time a response that is a 100 to my PLC 202. And it's a response length is a 105. And once we click here, it will show the TDS, this protocol. And it will show the token column metadata here. Okay, let's explain here. That is a column. And here we can see the actual token, the length is 24 bytes. So that means based on the current fruit, this test. So this is select command is using 24 bytes here. So again, let's review. So based on this select, this command, the actual lens we need to send, that is uh, the 24. So that's why this token column metadata from zero, it end at 23. So now let's do this test. So we will use this select to sort the data from that first table, PLC data, that's three integer and then let's sort one data. And because I will use another select command to sort the integer out, we are sorting different table. So the format telegram length will now be the same. And to use the Wireshark to trace this select command and check out the actual length on the metadata, this length. So we will follow this procedure. Firstly, we need to send the new select command and check out the actual lens we need to use. Okay, let's do this. Let's go back to this first table. So let's assort this ID number and then return the integer, the third column, integer value three, return this column's value. Okay, let's do this using the select command. Okay, now we can use this command, command two, index two, but we need to change. So we will type in this command, select, and we will return the integer value three from PLC data. This is the table name, but we will use the condition where the ID equal to seven, for example. So the idea is we will use the ID number equal to seven, find out all the ID equal to seven, we will feedback, we will return the integer value three, the third columns value, and all those value will be returned at here, okay? And then let's change to this index number to two here, okay, transfer. And before we trigger it, let's enable the Wireshark So let's, let's close this capture file and let's enable a new one. Okay, now it's a recording. 
Okay, let's go back to here. Make sure we are using the number two, this index. So we will send this select command and let's trigger it. Trigger. And now we can see it returns some data, but actually those data doesn't make sense. They are not correct. So let's verify from the Wireshark. Okay, so we found some command here. So let's stop this recording and let's sort TDS. Okay, and let's find out the latest response. Find out this token column metadata. So we will see now this new select command its actual length is 38 bytes. It's a 38 bytes. And if you review the actual data from the ID number seven, so actually it should return like nine, seven and five, should return like this, but now it's not correct. So we need to change the metadata, the length to 38, okay? So to change this, let's go back to the PLC side. So we can see the data is not correct. Actually, we can find some clue like a five, six, seven, five. It matches here. That because the lens doesn't match. Okay, so let's keep this all, go offline. That's thirty-eight totally lens. So we need to go to here. Type use case specified data, and we need to enable this edit type. And keep in mind, when we editing here, actually we are editing some data type from this library, we can see now we haven't released yet. So this version showing in the test here. Okay, so we need to change because the total length is 38. So we need to change from zero to 37, to 37. Okay, so after we change, Let's hit this uh, release this version and uh, watch this uh, change here. Okay, so we release this version. Okay, we release this version. And also, let's go to the SQL, open this FB. And because once we change this data type, and in this FB2, it's still using this data type. So we need to go here and change it also. So we need to right click, click this uh, release version. Okay, so let's open this FB2, make sure it is using this data type. Okay, that data type come from this in out, the data here. So now we can see it's changed to update to 37. So it lands is 38. Okay, now let's hit the save and the download. Compile and download. So now let's go back to the test watch table. Hit online. Okay, so we will still test this as an index two. So the index two will sort the ID seven, sort the integer value three, the third column. Okay, so we'll use the index two, let's trigger it. And in the meantime, let's watch this feedback. Set up the connection first. Okay, now we set up the connection. And, and now we are preparing this command index two. So the actual command number is two. And now let's trigger it. Boom. After we change this lens, we will see 975 a return. And if we go back to here, so we sort all the ID equal to seven. We have a three rows here. And at the column three, so their value is a nine, seven, and five. So this time it returns correctly. So the key idea is 
by different selection command, we need to use this Wireshark and find out the response from the SQL to the PLC and find out this token column metadata, find out the actual length by your command. And we need to manually change that date type. And don't forget, after you change this date type, actually they are in this library. They are hidden here. And don't forget, release this date type, also release this function block. Otherwise, your compile will show the errors. And other common questions, that is this, insert into, select, and update. To check out this, you need to search the SQL, query, those commands. For example, from learning purpose, I prefer to use this website, w3schools.com, and you can select this SQL and find out, for example, the SQL select. So this is the syntax. And to use the where, so we can use this SQL, select this SQL where. If we try to select the column from the table name and where after the where, that is the condition. So this is the website I recommend. So here you can find out the detailed explanation and find out those command syntax. Okay, the good things in this example, we have a insert into update and select. Also, we can prepare the different command at here. You can create multiple SQL command and use the different index number to fire the SQL and return the value. The only known thing is the value returned as this way, that is the hex, which is really annoying. Maybe we can find out the detailed program inside this FB2 and find out which way we can store the data easier. So this way is a little bit annoying, but it works. Maybe the next task we could do is find out a much easier way to return the value. For example, return the actual string or return the actual integer number. Okay, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.